Yo, what's up guys? It's Jack. Welcome back to another video. So, um, you know, I'm going to get, I'm going to start right off the bat by saying I'm not going to be one of those, I'm not one of those YouTubers that's basically going to sugarcoat everything and I'm not going to basically say, hey, we should be excited about this game. Um, you know, uh, play testers or, or people that have seen the game, uh, footage, it basically made them cry and all that kind of stuff. It's like, look, dude, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, and I'm just going to say that things are definitely not looking good for Modern Warfare, and I should damn well say that, you know what? It's looking unprofessional. Because if you're a AAA title studio, along with Activision and all that kind of other bullshit, right? And you're making the most amount of money pretty much every year, except when GTA comes out, which GTA uh, wins. Um, the thing is that right now, all they had to show on the biggest stage of them all was just two screenshots, and those screenshots weren't I mean, they were pretty looking and everything. The graphics look good and everything, sure. But at the same time, it's like, really? It's like, was that really that impressive? I mean, you're just you're going to go to E3 and represent your game with just two screenshots and interviews talking about it about four and a half months away from release. You're asking people to pre-order the game when they haven't seen jack shit. This is, this is, what, I talk, this is what I'm talking about. See, this is, this is the thing about... Um, this is the thing about our franchise that makes it so hard, especially for us honest YouTubers. Whether you're small or big, if you're an honest YouTuber, and if Call of Duty is your main uh, is your main thing that you're covering, man, it's really, uh, I could pretty much say, I mean, I'm not just speaking for myself, but I think I can speak for the rest of us honest YouTubers, big and small, that it must be really fucking hard to basically uh, keep on swallowing this pill year after year. And it seems like every single year, the pill just gets that much bigger and bigger to the point to where we're just not gonna stand that shit anymore. And the thing is, I mean, how dare these motherfuckers ask us to pre-order the game as soon as it's been announced, right? Since the trailer, since that trailer came out, right? Or whatever the hell. Yeah, pretty much since the trailer. How, how the hell do you guys have the audacity to ask people to pre-order the game? And then you go to your, uh, what's it called? You go to the biggest main stage and all you have to show is two screenshots. And whenever they do ask you questions uh, regarding something specific, like the multiplayer or maybe crossplay, you say you can't fully talk about it, I think I'll get in trouble. It's pretty much uh, evident that right now, these guys' number one priority is, number one, obviously, to to contain everything, right? They're obviously behind. If they're in pre-alpha, four and a half months before the game gets released, we've got a serious problem. And they're a AAA title. Okay, they're, the, Call of Duty is a AAA title, believe it or not, <laughs> or like, like it or not. It's a AAA title. And with, obviously, as of Black Ops 4, with really shady business practices, that's for sure, they just want to take advantage of their community left and right. And, uh, I mean, it's I know that every single, you know, big corporation like this or whatnot has to, to a certain extent, uh, bullshit people into buying their product, right? Because that's what business is when you think about it. You want to be a good businessman, you got you to gotta be a bu good bullshitter, right? At least to a certain extent. But this is beyond just bullshit. This is like... This is an insane amount of bullshit that we have to deal with. It's like it's sitting there right in front of our faces, but yet at the same time, it's like you got people out, you got people out here that are basically saying, "Oh, we should be excited for this game," and uh, the footage made the made the people that have seen the game cry and shit like that. It's like, look, dude, <sighs> look, I, I want the campaign community be, community to be happy, right? Because they certainly took a hit to say the least in terms of Black Ops Four. There basically was no campaign. And it's simple as that. I mean, I feel really bad for our community that absolutely loves campaign and that gets Call of Duty every year specifically for the campaign. But here's a fact, and I hate to say it, and please don't take this as offense, uh, campaign people that are watching. Campaign in and of itself is not enough for Call of Duty to survive. It's not enough to carry Call of Duty. Multiplayer is. And <clears throat> the post content is, especially at this day and age. Maybe back in the day, Back in uh, back during the original Modern Warfare days, one, two, and three, maybe campaign in and of itself was enough, would be enough to carry, because according to data that I've that I've heard about, like way back in the day, there were a shit ton of people playing campaign. Believe it or not, more than we ever thought, and there are a lot of people that played all the modes. But for the most part, a lot of people, especially those really really casual people, really were looking forward to campaign year after year. And for the most part, the campaign numbers were good. So. Um, but that's not it. We're not in this day and age. We're not in that day and age now. We've got people right now trying to copy Fortnite left and right by making their own version of Battle Royale. We've got mobile games left and right coming out, which are going to be loaded with microtransactions, probably similar to what this game is doing, or their own version of what Fortnite is doing, but they're going to make it worse, pretty much like Black Ops 4 did. 
I mean, it's pretty uh, it's pretty shameful in terms of how how things are turning, and it's like people are gonna get m taken advantage of more and more and more. So uh, I don't know, man. Just uh, nothing but a whole bunch of bullshit. So the thing is that. We got two pictures today. We got two screenshots of what was supposedly the multiplayer, and it was a juggernaut and a sniper in a ghillie suit that definitely blended in with the background. And if those are screenshot, legit screenshots of the multiplayer, all I can tell you is, well, first of all, the colors. Why are we going back to the old color palette from the original Modern Warfare? Why are we doing that? I mean, that's, <laughs> it's. I mean, you don't want your target to be, you don't want the game to be so realistic that you can't see what the fuck you're shooting at or what's shooting at you. You know, it's uh, even with the color palettes of this game here, Black Ops 4, which is pretty colorful. I mean, Treyarch has always done a good job at that, let's admit that. But th there are times, in terms of the inconsistency sometimes, there are times to where we can't even see our target and they're right in front of us simply because of where they are on the map. So if you're going to make the game that realistic to where it's going to be super tactical, which they have used that term in terms of describing Modern Warfare, which scares the living fuck out of me, uh, they're saying that there's not going to be specialists, but hey, there's something called operators, so that could be specialists. Just because you word it differently doesn't mean that it's going that there's no such thing as quote unquote specialists. It's it's like oh yeah, we're just going to name it differently and ha, huh, no specialists. But they do the exact same thing. So what the fuck are you trying to do? I mean, this is the shit that they pull on us. I mean, you got to read between the lines, and we can't fall for this shit. <sighs> it's really hard for somebody that basically. Uh, showcases Call of Duty as the main game on their channel and people that have come to see it that constantly deals with this bullshit all the time and I give credit to those big youtubers man the ones that are honest at least the ones that are honest the ones that are not honest and the ones that you know <laughs> pretend to be happy and excited about the game when they're actually not you know obviously I know that they have to make a living doing this shit but uh, come on man don't be just like Activision and take advantage of your fan base just so that way you can put more money in your fucking pockets I mean, you know, don't turn into this. You know, this is th this is how Call of Duty is going to die. And it's literally dying right in front of our eyes at this point right now. Seriously. It's literally dying right in front of our eyes thanks to microtransactions and as well as a few of the handful of people that represent the game. And I'm not just talking about Activision and the developers, but I'm also talking about the content creators, people like me. But the people that are not quite as honest and the people that hype the game falsely instead of hyping the game or dishyping the game um, honestly. So, um, and in terms of what side I take, I've always, I've always been honest. I mean, there were, when I was hyped, I will say that I'm hyped and half of the time I was wrong. Half of the time I was wrong simply because of the fact that I fell for the bullshit. But at this point, I've been fed so much of this bullshit. At this point, it's being force fed, uh, that basically I, it's really easy to basically turn my back on Call of Duty right now. How many of the old titles can we basically, uh, keep on playing until we're, uh, until we're sick and tired of them at this point um, and you know and and speaking of which uh, and the way that they keep on doing all these things by saying oh there's gonna be more content than ever and their version of content versus our version and the way that we're disrespected like for instance the contracts that are gonna come out for Black Ops 4 here pretty soon they reward you just XP and then two reserves I mean what kind of contracts are those in World War 2 we got awarded weapons for contracts now I understand that Black Ops 4 is the main game and these people may not release legit contracts until the life cycle of this game is over but World War 2 did it during its life cycle if I'm not mistaken so why can't we do it with this game here so I mean I don't I don't know maybe it maybe it's because of the fact that they're the only people that are playing this game right now in terms of Black Ops 4 are the people that are like super sweaty try hard and the ones that will never leave the franchise no matter what and to a certain extent I have to respect them for that because it takes a lot of balls to do that <laughs> it takes a lot of balls to do that especially considering the shit that we're going through now so uh, yeah so it's uh, it's easier said than done to stick around with this franchise especially when you're learning to read between the lines and uh, all I can tell you is with all the shit that I'm reading it's bullshit <laughs> So if I see anybody hyping up Modern Warfare at this point, it's like, ha! It's like, come on, dude. It's like, I understand that it's a new Call of Duty. I understand that it's Modern Warfare. I understand that you have to make a living with your content and stuff like that. I understand it. Great. But at the same time, I mean, we can't... I understand. I believe in the law of attraction, the power of positivity. But, I mean, just look, read between the lines, man. Read between the lines. They can easily, and they have, used that power of positivity to take advantage of us before. Like what they did when they mentioned that Black Ops 4 is going to have the most content ever, or the most free content. And what is that free content? 
take a look in all these tiers and all the reserves and all that kind of stuff. Stuff that is pretty much useless at this point. I mean, <laughs> that that just doesn't count. Content has to count when it's useful. So anyway, guys, uh, that's all I got for this one. It was a rant video. Um, I couldn't help it, man. I just had to let it out. So if you're annoyed, then fuck you. Uh, if you're not annoyed, then uh, thank you very much for understanding or at least hearing me out. So um, yeah, that's all I got for this one, guys. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. And if you didn't, let me know what I could do to make my videos better. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.